Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, if you're new to my channel, please smash that like and subscribe button. Do tick the notification bell as well so that you will be alerted of when I upload videos. Although um, I am here Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern if you don't know that already. And uh, sometimes I'll open uh, I'll upload a short or something randomly. So yeah, definitely take that notification bell. Virgo, let's just get into this reading. You know the drill. Let's see what the messages are. <clears throat> I'm going to do an overall message to start for the weekend and then see what comes up in love or if it, love shows up in the reading, then it shows up. Okay, let's get into this Virgo. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Like I say, you don't have to be a Virgo to watch this channel. Just have Virgo placement somewhere in your chart. Okay. Messages. Overall messages. Okay, Virgo, get some conflict. Definitely. Now, it could be good. It could be bad. It just depends. There's just some type of, maybe you're going to be playing some kind of sport over the weekend in some kind of battle mode. You could be just video gaming all weekend. Who knows? You could be somebody who is... Um, mm, yeah, this is kind of like there's some obstacles. Maybe you're doing some something physical, like a physical obstacle over the weekend. I like I don't feel like you're going to be in a fight with a whole bunch of people. So don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but it might be more along the lines of like gaming. And it looks like, I don't know, you might be coaching something or um, trying to resolve conflicts. You could be in like a hanging out at the bar and a bunch of people can't fight. Oh my God, Virgo, what is with you? <laughs> but there's definitely an energy um, because, yeah, it kind of feels like like it, prior there was something, there was like um, a stable foundation and it looks like things are kind of, oh, the house is rocking a little bit. That's what I'm, the house is rocking, the house is swaying a little bit back and forth, and Virgo's coming in to stabilize over the weekend, however that resonates. It could be literal, figuratively, whichever it is, you know, because before the five of, of wands, there's the four of wands, and that's a stable foundation structure. Um, maybe there's like some arguments or something in a family situation or in a relationship, it could be. There's some kind of challenge, and I feel like you're basically coming in and, and saying, you know, everybody chill, okay? Just like go back to your corner and take a breather, okay? <laughs> Virgo, so that's you, huh? Just try to kind of, you're the one that everybody calls, Virgo, to maintain order when people are getting out of control. Maybe you're doing something with children over the weekend, you know? Let's see. What else coming up for you? Okay. So you've got the hangman. So, all right. It's Virgo, I kind of feel like you're showing up this weekend. Either something's gonna happen where there's like a crowd or people are just kind of like, there's unruliness and you come in and you're just like, listen, listen, everybody. And you've got the hangman. So it's like, try, look, trying to turn everybody's head and see something differently. I feel like you're trying to break up some kind of situation over the weekend with your wisdom. <laughs> That's Virgo for you. Could be a work, could be a work situation. Um, something related to uh, family, friends, it could be a relationship, you know, <clears throat> there's also maybe some chaos, and if it's not you, it could be another earth sign or someone else, business person, or uh, someone else that comes in and tries to give you a, a different angle, uh, see it from, here's a different angle, here's a way, here's how to win, gosh, it's kind of like that too, it's, it's almost an energy of like, you know, we're in the middle of the game, and the coach calls, you know, the quarterback over to the sideline or says something to him like, you got to you got to attack from this angle in order to win, to overcome this obstacle and challenge. Either that's something's being told to you or you're saying it to somebody else. OK, I'm just going to leave it right there. See what other message is coming in here for you. Overall message for the weekend. Oh, Virgo, it's funny sometimes with you. <laughs> All right, so they just said to tell you, if you're a male Virgo, you're giving some advice or you are trying to show or tell somebody about how to like settle a dispute or an issue. If you're a female Virgo, somebody's coming in saying this to you. Okay, 
So you've got the two of cups. Okay, very good. So there's definitely like a blessed union that has already occurred between you and another person. <clears throat> the two of cups feels like friendship. It also feels like potential for um, romance. It's two people finding themselves on the same page. Um, you could be connecting or meeting someone in person, having dinner, having drinks with someone. And it could be a Leo for some of you. But the energy of this connection here is like, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. There's a lot of similarities between you and another person. <clears throat> now, like I said, it could be a Leo I was picking up. Could also be a cancer so there's a lot of um like i don't know agreement you guys come to some kind of agreement you and another person could be friendship could be romantic but you come to some kind of an agreement and you're both on the same page okay and it's connected with like a very healing energy um could be an agreement like if you work in a medical facility or seeing someone okay huh so I feel like Virgo, you're coming out of a, a position where I feel like you're coming over the weekend, you're coming out of this position where you might have been kind of like self sabotaging some things or feeling like, you know, I feel like be careful that your anxieties don't get the best of you or if you're having nightmares over the weekend. I don't know. Let me see what this message is. Don't let your, they're saying, don't let your, okay. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Virgo, I really feel like there's like advice being given here over the weekend. I want to show you something. I don't know if you guys know this. If you can see that right down here, there's two people sword fighting and it's like a all out war. It's a battle. It's a conflict. Okay. Down here. And also on this blanket, there's a whole, there's all the zodiac signs on this blanket here. I feel like um, Virgo, you 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 have like this conflict of some sort in your mind, or some kind of fight or argument, and um, or some battle or something that um, you're concerned that. that someone hurt another person i feel like somebody's trying to give you some reason or try to tell you you're worrying too much or you're stressing too much about something and you don't need to stress about this and i do feel like you kind of like bring it down a notch and really try to think of things logically whatever some kind of conflict or struggle could be a fight between friends over over another person also but I, I just kind of get a sense that you know you're gonna just drop it down a notch and you know during the day really think about things I feel like you might have a little bit of stress about a relationship whether or not to invest more or to not invest or just keep things as it is just be friends or yeah there might have been some kind of fight or something happen let me see Okay, so you've got the Hierophant. So, uh, yeah, Virgo, like, I mean, you're definitely in a position over this weekend where you're doing things pretty much by the book. Like, you're not, you know what's your truth. You know what you believe. You know what your spiritual principles are. Um, and that might be a struggle for you. You might have had to do something that you wish you didn't have to do. You might be stressing about this over the weekend. Okay, could be stressing about, like, um, a work situation as well some conflict to work worried about you know if you're gonna lose your job or if somebody's gonna sabotage a job situation for you um, I also feel like a lot of you are looking back on a relationship and really taking a logical look at the past relationship over this weekend and just being like you know you saying like realizing that you really did invest a lot um, but there is also this thing is like questioning yourself as well about that. Did I like, did I really invest a lot? Uh, did I really put in the effort on my part? Um, did I do enough? It, it's not, a, it's not really looking for the answer of that, but I, I just see you questioning yourself about that over the weekend, possibly stressing, wondering if, did you, 
you know, sabotage a relationship or a chance for something to go from the Two of Cups to like a long term committed. I don't know, Virgo, if you're blaming yourself, I feel like you're stressing about that. You know, it takes two to tango, Virgo. So, I mean, I, I kind of feel like, like, don't stress yourself out about that. You know, don't put yourself in a position like blaming yourself for an entire thing. Okay, you've got the Ten of Cups next to the Hierophant. I feel like this relationship was going that way, but something happened. So maybe it never got past the Two of Cups. Let me see what happened in some kind of relationship or a situation. Some of you are also stressing about family conflicts as well. Um, you do have someone coming around or in your corner who's bringing you support. If you are the one who's needing that, also you might be the one who's bringing to some support to a person in a family, you know, conflict and um, trying to help you not stress over um, a family member as well. These, these messages. Let me see what the, I just want to take a look at this. If you're stressing over um, questioning yourself about a relationship, okay. Huh. All right. Well, first of all, Virgo, the the love thing with someone, it came so damn fast and then it shifted so damn fast. I mean, I feel like for you, Virgo, somebody might have been like, or just the energy of a relationship, just it didn't go slow. It just went from point A to point Z in like 60 seconds, you know? And I feel like, um, I don't know if it then it just shifted out and it ended or just went in a different direction. But you do have like a, a new love coming in, definitely. Um, I feel like where something was blocked before or if you've had up blocks or you weren't trying to, like where you were pushing love away, I mean, it's definitely, those blocks are removed so that this new love opportunity, which will be in favor to you, is coming to you over the weekend for sure. Okay, so I mean, Virgo, it's like I feel like to tell you don't stress about a past relationship. Um, if, if or if you're questioning what you should have, could have, should have, could have, would have done, you know, um, or some kind of conflict, friendship, r romantic relationship, whatever it is, what could have been done? I think you probably did the best you could, and maybe it came on really quick, and that you might, Virgo, you know, you like to take your time um, before really committing to somebody. So, kind of feels like, Virgo, you might be saying to yourself, well, if only I had, you know, um, did the things or went against the grain of my beliefs or my standards, then maybe they wouldn't have left. But no, um, if somebody's going to leave you because of your standards and they're not happy with that, then there's a door. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. I mean, come on, keep it moving. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, you got, I mean, you, you can't walk around like, like a jellyfish, you know what I mean? Like your brain, like if you, if your if your mind is so damn open, your brains will fall out. Like you've got to have some conviction somewhere. <laughs> I mean, we all talk about having an open mind for sure, but you don't want that shit so damn open that like all that grossness is leaking out. Like, I mean, you have to have some type of boundary. All right. <laughs> So yeah, the weekend looks like a lot of questioning yourself and also, um, but having the support and somebody trying to give you like some good insight and also um, somebody also being in your life, seeking your advice, it could be one or the other and you trying to like bring calm after a storm here. Um, I do feel like no matter the situation, things are going to shift. Things are going to change over the weekend. The blessing will come in. Let me see. Yeah, but of course, you're going to go into hermit mode. <laughs> you're going to be thinking about things like, okay. All right. The, you're definitely going to be reflecting. Uh, there's a new opportunity coming in for sure. And I see you're going to be reflecting on this. And it feels like a money thing as well. Like the, the, the question is, do I take this financial opportunity? You're going to be asking, is this going to be worth it? You know, um, or questioning how do you manifest this so that you can have this uh you know this golden opportunity come to your life there's a lot of questions about a financial thing over the weekend how do i make more money how do i you know what do i have to do to get paid 
or what do I have to do to, um, or how do I pay something off as well? I see a lot of brainstorming, some of you, the chariot. Um, maybe you're thinking about buying a new vehicle or trading one in or paying one off, okay? Or uh, asking for a loan. <clears throat> There's also something to do here with an ambulance. I often look when I see this card, and not always does it come to me, but I don't know. I just feel like that's an ambulance. So there is, I'm not saying you're going to be an ambulance. There is something about someone who's connected to an ambulance. Um, it could be paying for an ambulance, or maybe some of you are going to work in ambulatory care, or you do, or you're thinking about changing jobs. Over the weekend, I feel like an opportunity connected to an ambulance shows up over the weekend um, at, in a financial way as well. So, hmm. Also, this is about you also getting in a place of like, how do I, like you're, you're definitely going within, like how do I create an opportunity? When will the opportunity come for me to have action and change? When should I step my foot forward, right? I feel like you're kind of like being patient and, and saying, I'm not going to create the opportunity. I'm going to wait for it to come. And then I'll know that I can move forward in something here. Okay. So there's this, this weekend just feels like, you know, Virgo, guess what? The weekend feels like you can be overthinking every freaking thing. What does Virgo need to do? <laughs> what does Virgo need to do and not be in an energy of overthinking, over worrying about a romantic relationship, over worrying about finances, family, career. What does Virgo need to do? Aw, look at that. You have the Six of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, that's weird. So the first thing I'm just hearing is you need to think about how life, I don't know, put yourself back in your childhood is what I'm hearing. Um, now, I don't know if that's an antidote to some of you, because if you had traumatic childhoods, it probably wouldn't be the good thing for you to do. But um, if there was anything positive about any of that, definitely. But I also feel like you need to connect with a friend or, or someone who um, knows you best. Okay. Um, an old friend, someone you consider a friend, whether I, I don't care what label you have on them whoever they are, male or female, um, you need to reconnect with an old friend. And then you also have temperance. This could be Sagittarius. It could be Scorpio. They could be on the cusp, Scorpio Sag. You need to connect with an old friend who will help bring balance and harmony and peace and spend some time with that. I don't know. I just kind of feel like you need to like, I don't know, pull some of their energy Okay, so this person is going to help you understand. Oh my gosh. Th th this person is going to give you clarity about why someone was deceptive, lying, blocking, pushing away, um, causing heartbreak and pain. Whoever this person is, or it's connecting with your, an angel, for a guardian angel that you had in childhood, or whomever you used to connect with in childhood, clarity freaking comes. Virgo, over the weekend, when you make a, a past connection with someone um, where they give you clarity and they give you truth about why they were lying, why they ran away, why they were deceptive, why they gave you these harsh words, why there was arguments, separation, loss, the divorce, um, why they were keeping you out of their life, why they were so possessive at times and jealous. This could even be, um, you, some of you just need to go back to your therapist. <laughs> Uh, somebody, somebody's name is Angel. <laughs> I don't know. You need to go back to your therapist and get back into the work that you need to do because you might be stressing um, or a mentor or someone. Some of you need to go back to church and call on the angels. You know, you don't have to call on the angels in church, of course, but it's one or the other. Um, there's something here about making a reconnection or reconnecting with someone from the past to give you some insight, definitely. Because I feel like there's someone here who's very well balanced and full of wisdom, um, very philosophical, can understand, understand psychology, understands the way people are, the complexity of people, and will really help you to sort out some things that you are struggling with a, a heartbreak situation, okay? 
So you have a lot going on in your plate, Virgo, and I feel like you're trying to figure a lot of things out on your own over the weekend. I also feel like you're trying to help everybody. You're trying to be the mediator. You're trying to save the day. And yet your ass is confused as F as well about your own stuff. So it feels to me like when I was asking what you need to do, you can do it or you don't have to do it. It's up to you. If this energy starts playing out, you need to get some really good guidance about some of your internal own struggles because you might be trying to solve everybody else's problems because you can't solve your own or you don't know how to solve them on your own and Virgo is very good at being able to see clearly and understand things even within themselves but I feel like there's a little bit of a struggle going on here because your emotions might be wrapped up in something that your logic is trying to reason with and your emotions are just like I'm sorry I don't understand that I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand that. All I, all I feel is hurt and pain and, and anguish and, and love. And, and I, I don't understand what you're talking about, brain. Uh, you're speaking a different language. <laughs> so I feel like it's coming into union and coming into alignment with your head and your heart where they can understand one another and having that aha moment because I feel like you're still seeking some answers. You're still trying to see things from a different perspective and you keep gaining all these different perspectives and okay, well, maybe it's this. Okay, well, maybe it's that. Or, you know, no, it's not that. Oh, but then this person said it was that. Like you're searching. You need to stop searching. Okay, you need to ask for the answer to be given to you. And that's when, you know, someone, I guess, from your past or an angel or some something comes to you where you, you, you're not stuck in this contemplation energy anymore. You can let go. Okay. Yeah. Virgo, you got to hit rock bottom with something here definitely it's time it's time you need to surrender stop fighting something or you know because i do feel like like i said you're trying to fix all the other obstacles and problems and help other people but it's time you gotta start helping yourself here by asking for help right you gotta hit bot hit rock bottom and you might be doing that over this weekend like damn just give it up just be like it doesn't matter <laughs> It doesn't matter. Just let it go. Let me see what your romance angels messages are. All right. Oh, forgiving and learning. There you go, Virgo. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. And that's what I was saying here. Um, some kind of blockage that you've that has been lifted or you've lifted and now the floodgates are open. Okay. And, and all the, the good start good stuff starts flowing in and then you know here comes that ace of cups here comes that love opportunity here comes that blessing that gift right forgive and don't forget never forget uh it, but it is when you forgive you f you you just don't bring it up again but you keep it in the back of your mind you know what i mean forgive and forget so i know there's always this confusion forgive and forget means we forgive and we forget about it um and depending on the nature of the crime, um, we make a decision whether we're going to give that person another opportunity or, or not. Okay, but no matter what, we don't forget the crime. Now, listen, it depends, though. Um, if someone stole a cookie out of the cookie jar <laughs> and they lied about it, okay, you're going to forgive them. You can give them another chance to prove themselves. But if it was something extremely callous and like bad um then you might just be like you know what yeah i forgive but i cannot forget what you've done and there is no relationship going forward so but you you know either way you don't forget but you forget long enough to give someone another chance but i feel like here it doesn't say anything about forgetting it's just forgive and learn from it release and heal and move forward why am i so preachy today you know, I only had half a cup of coffee. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Now, this is either retreating with another person or retreating separately on your own. But there is engagement here. Okay. So, 
some of you might spend be spending the weekend with someone or you know another significant other over the weekend where you guys engage with one another and make a relationship stronger make a bond stronger which is great you and this person um, i'm also seeing an interracial relationship as well but you and this person connecting um and spending some time together to maybe heal a relationship as well forgiving each other and learning and trying to make something better okay you could have had a fight with your best friend could have been a fight with a parent or an argument with a with a sibling or uh, something a romantic situation whichever um, I feel like there's gonna be an opportunity to like possibly get into spending a little time together to forgive each other and try to like re-engage with one another and make things more positive okay all right yep give your relationship a chance it's time to work on the partnership so that energy yeah 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 i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like you're like oh did i do something wrong should i said should have said this should i've done that should i've not done this not do that i you know i I do feel um, there is going to be communication coming over the weekend for sure, um, but I feel like you're going to need to talk to someone to sort some stuff out first within self, okay? All right, let me just see. Island time messages. Okay, yep. Oh, mask, but it's in reverse. Okay, so someone who is wearing a false mask, not showing their true feelings, hiding, pretending, maybe gaslighting, well, the mask is coming off now. Okay, somebody's removing their mask and coming out in their truth, which is good. There's going to be an opportunity for transparency, honesty, authenticity, conversation, being able to see each other. You could both be removing masks. Okay, all right. You have the clock. Knee time takes time. This could be somebody that you clock in with at work. Um, progress. It's going to take time, though. Time to heal. Okay? It's not an overnight thing, but it's a start. It's a new beginning, for sure, where something gets healed. There's a blessing. Somebody's been praying about it to fix something, to not have this conflict anymore. All right, I'm not going to take all those. Just one spirit. Okay okay addiction there might have been addiction involved in some something here something got in the way addiction often to me means third party okay somebody is um making their addiction the primary lover and then they have their partner so there's like three people in this relationship it's a little um charles diana and um what the hell was her name the other one charles diana well the one who's the queen now Camilla yeah okay there's three people in this relationship yeah and it's the addiction okay so somebody you know had something else that they were just obligated to by way of like they had to feed their addiction the monster okay for some that that energy was definitely affecting a relationship okay whether it's codependency obsession possessiveness which we saw there controlling behavior a block um restraint a block and the blocks are being lifted now and things start flowing forward so i mean it feels like the weekend's going to be pretty profound for you all right one more and then i'm going to close out your readings so we hit the 30 minute okay yeah wow lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation so there's definitely like phew, things are just going to shift shift on a, on a dime here out of nowhere lightning comes down and just everything gets sorted out just you know i always like to say you know life is like and i hate using this analogy but it, it's like everyone who woke up in the morning of 9 11 the sky was blue everything was just a perfect beautiful start of um the fall um things were just beginning kids were back in school you know um it, it was just the weather was cooling down up in the north and you know whatever was going on up here in the u.s and and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you look on the news and a plane hits the tower and it's like oh damn oh that sucks everybody thought it was like a little little small plane aircraft nobody knew like an accident you know wow and then boom another one and then the whole freaking world changed that day that's the tower 
That's what the tower is, you guys. Now, I'm not saying that plane's going to hit your house over the weekend. I'm saying that it's that energy where you don't expect it and, and everything just shifts and changes out of nowhere, okay? Um, and the tower brought absolute unwanted change and ruin and upheaval and violence and a lot of stuff came out of that but those things also create new opportunities for regrowth you know but it's a, it's a sad way to have to do it because you're basically now rebuilding on burial ground you know and and it's heartbreaking and it's difficult but and it takes time you know um from for people on small scale difficult relationships to world events to heal it takes time to heal from those wounds you know and i feel like whatever this situation is whether it's love or family or work or friends whatever is going on here it, it, i'm not predicting a 9-11 event <laughs> or anything at smaller scale in your personal life i just feel like there's the shift in the change the lightning comes and when it happens even if it doesn't happen on this weekend it's like an aha moment you know it's an aha moment you you're going through your shifts and changes and healing and other people external to you people places and things as well and things begin to slowly you know the flower slowly starts to grow again okay so that's the energy for the weekend. I that was very that was on a grand scale global kind of message there. So take it as it resonates. And yeah, I hope you guys have a very positive weekend. I will see you all back here on Sunday for your Sunday singles reading. And yeah, don't forget if you want to book a reading with me or Dom, there's a link in the uh, description box below this video. Definitely go over and check that out. And I'm running a special for January. And then I will be running a special for February, which will be similar to the Christmas holiday reading special I'll be offering. So keep your eye out for that. Okay. So I will see you guys back here on Sunday. All right. Love you.